Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everybody, Chris Perillo here with two hands on the wheel and four eyes on the road. Going to answer a question uh, as posted to the YouTube channel the other day. Uh, killing two birds with one stone because I figured, hey, I'm driving. I'm going to be talking to myself anyway. Might as well record a video, right? <laughs> right. <clears throat> anyway, the question was, Chris, do you think the mouse will be obsolete in five years? And my answer is, it's obsolete now. Think about it. Most notebook computers come with an input device built in, usually in the form of some kind of touchpad or a trackpad device, controlled by the touch of your fingers. That's not really a, a mouse, per se. And this works quite well, especially if, if you have a multi-touch enabled on your computer. It doesn't have to be a Mac uh, to be multi-touch enabled. Uh, I've seen them uh, you know, supported on uh, PCs as well. So uh, then you take the, a step further, and most people's experiences are, are transforming in terms of their computing experience, are transforming from the traditional desktop construct or even a notebook construct to more of an iPad or Android tablet type construct. And in five years time, I mean, we're gonna laugh at today's touch devices. Uh, I think more and more we're going to see uh, our experiences transformed by touch. And if anything's going to kill the mouse, it's really accelerating that to the point where you would not even consider buying even a monitor that wasn't touch enabled in about four or five years. So the mouse is going away, and I realize this is somewhat depressing for gamers. I'm sure gamers would still use a mouse or some other kind of an input device uh, that would, you know, enhance their game. Uh, but I think for a large majority of users, the mouse is already ir irrelevant. I still use a, a mouse, but I am also uh, you know, trying to transition uh, more over to using a touchpad as connected to the computer by way of a Bluetooth connection. And uh, yeah, I use the mouse because it's easier. It's more precise for me uh, at this point. But again, as operating systems continue to evolve, as hardware continues to evolve, I think the mouse is the next thing to go. Bye-bye, mouse! Keyboard? Mm, I think it'll be a little while longer before we see that disappear. Either way, what are your thoughts? Uh, feel free to comment here in the thread. Do you still use a mouse? If not, what input device do you use and why? Oh, sorry. Two hands on the wheel. Ten and two. Keep it on. Or you can email me, chris at perillo.com. We're going to be scanning the uh, comment threads on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and beyond for good questions that I may be able to answer in future videos. So please ask away. And of course, we'll also be looking at lockergnome.net where you guys have been participating anyway. Uh, either way, uh, you know how to get a hold of me at Chris Perillo on Twitter, facebook.com slash chrisperillo, and the blog, chris.perillo.com. And until next time, uh, we'll see you later.